Good evening, folks. I'm Retro Gamers 40, and today, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create animated overlays for your PS4 console using Lightstream. Lightstream is a digital cloud based streaming software that allows console streamers to create and display professional looking animated or static overlays, alerts, stingers, transition scenes, and music to their stream. So the first step is to sign up for Lightstream, right? And it costs only $7.99 per month. And compare this to the cost of high-end streaming equipment which could run you anywhere between 600 US to 1000 US bucks I think this is not a bad investment it also comes with a seven-day free trial period right so without further ado let's get into this video tutorial all right so I've taken the privilege to um, have the page web page displayed so you come here and you sign up for Lightstream, you pay your subscription fee, right? And then when all that is done, you now have to change your primary DNS settings from the default settings that you have in your network settings to the DNS, primary DNS server settings for the Lightstream server. I will definitely send, have a link in the description below right um but right cool and then that's the first step after you have done that and link that your ps4 to live stream we're good to go we can now start with this step which is getting the overlays creative or creations so you click here go into live stream studio And that will bring you to this page. Correct. This is exactly what you would see as a first time subscriber. I have already, I'm a subscriber. I've been using YouTube. I'm a subscriber for Lightstream. I've been using this for almost four months now and I have no experience, no problems. So anyway, so what you need to do, you need to add layers, create your scenes. So what you need to do you have seen one here you have your game source right it shows you're supposed to really add your game source so you jump in the gun here so apparently this has already been added so you add this game source boom this will come up here booyaka right then the next step is for us to add the actual in-game overlay right um and you should see this come up here in the audio mixer this should show up so the next step now is seeing that we you have signed up for stream elements right you have to sign up for stream elements or whatever you want to choose obs stream labs i use stream elements and for the purpose of this tutorial we'll be using stream elements so your third party integration you click on this come down all the way here stream elements Booyaka, right? So you see now it says you have to input your stream elements URL, R, URL ad address for it to show up here. So the next step now is for you to go over to stream elements. Booyaka. Now it's on my overlays. Well, I mean, to get to this page, what you need to do it wouldn't be like that for you because I mean you'll be the first time subscriber to Stream Elements and for for you know for you guys, Stream Elements is also free. So you'll go on your dashboard, click on your dashboard, you have to link your Twitch accounts or whichever you you stream your streaming platform is, whether it's YouTube, Mixer or, or Facebook. I am on Twitch, so I've linked my Twitch account. I've authorized Stream Elements to be a moderator on my stream as well. And I've linked both accounts. So you'll go on your dashboard, you will come over here to Teams Gallery, click on this, and this will load 
all the animated and static themes available for free right you choose whatever is your preference whatever you like that choice is yours but seeing that we're doing animated themes and for the purpose of this tutorial we're looking for an animated team so let's look keep looking keep looking keep looking 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 nope 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 is it not here there it is universe animated super theme preview boom so this is how this package comes with five scenes you have your i'll show you right you have your in-game scene you have your be right back scene you have your starting soon scene you have your chat scene and you have your stream ending scene so what your next step is to do create overlay Booyaka. Now you can call or rename this. I will call this in game overlay. Right? I mean, you can space it out, make it look more. Oops, not so much space. Official, you know, and all jumbled up together. In game overlay, and then you click on this create my overlay boom right so it says grab your scene link to your OBS so what you want to do now is click on this see team in my overlays booyaka right so now it's loading my overlays it will take you to this page so this is my overlays now you see I am an avid um, user of this stream elements so I have my team b42 raid in game raid scene I'm also a member of Team B42 as well. Right, I have my widgets. So we just created that, so that should show up here. So these are the five uh, transition scenes you get with this package, or this theme, overlay theme. As I was saying, this is the in-game overlay, hot in-game animated scene. Then you have your in-game overlay, hot stock animated scene, there's your chat scene. Then you have your in-game overlays, hot start animated scene, that is your starting stone scene. Then you have your be right back. And the other one is your stream ended scene. So you get five in your package. So what we need to do now is to copy. Now if you're pleased, all right, let's do this just for the purpose of the video. We need to go to the stream elements overlay editor so you click click edit this is where you'll make your changes and do whatever you want to do to your overlays to actually fine-tune and make the perfect overlay so this is the overlay editor on stream elements right what I do I move this up and out of the way so I can get a better overview of my stream overlay right and this is where the magic happens. These are all the things that you can change and you can edit. You can edit text, right? You can edit um, colors, fonts, right? You can hide, you can lock and unlock. So let's say for instance, the 4.3 cam, there, we click on it, it's hidden, right? It's right behind the 16.9. See the settings here i want it to become visible i just booyaka and there it is now click on it you see the blue light blue bar is there so we on this take this and we move this wherever we need to put it okay it came off again boy right so it's just one on top there everything is so congested here right so again you can move this anywhere you want right um the preference is yours so normally i will put this let's say up here oh gosh this mouse i have very limited space here on this right so you kind of get the gist of it 
wherever you want to put it. I don't know why it's doing that. Then again, if you choose, you can delete, make more space, whatever you want. Now I stream off my PS4 and I use the PlayStation camera. So it becomes a little tricky, right? Which I'll show you in a little few minutes how we add your webcam. In this case, I told you I use my PS4 camera. So what I will do, I'll come in over these here and editor. I will delete these two uh, stuff here, this me social media stuff, and put my overlay, my, put my webcam, 4.3 webcam here, and then you have to make some adjustments with the settings on your PlayStation camera, on your PlayStation. But again, that's another tutorial that will take too long, we're not going through all that, we're just showing you how quick and easy it is. So we have made whatever changes you have to make. Make sure you save, save, Hit save. You see that saving icon came up, All right? Then we now go back to the overlay section. Forgive me, my computer is a little slow. It's mediocre, right? It's not a high end, right? I use this to monitor my chat when I do my live streaming. So, that was it, created five minutes ago. We come now and we want to add this as our overlay onto our live stream. Or, sorry, add this onto our game source. So we click the URL, the URL here, copy. Let me go back to live stream. All right, copy and paste here. Booyaka. That boom. So this now becomes, you see, stream elements will now display on your on your stream. So booyaka. So we take this up. This is where it becomes a little tricky here. Let's see if I can do it again. You come now and you resize, you stretch. Then you see both. There you go. It's a little slow. Too much things running here right now. Bring this over here. All right, center it. And you hold down shift. Shift on your keypad. And you stretch this over here. All right, do the same here. Oh wow. Then you come down here. <laughs> All right, so you set that there, All right? Okay, it's very slow, we've got so much things processing in the background here right now. Then we come down here to get the bottom section, sure enough. There you go. Booyaka! Uh, just a little bit here. Make sure everything is snug fit. Shift. Right? And then you lock this in place. You click outside. Boom. Alright, why is it not? Come on, man. Booyaka. Nope, not there. There you go. And then you can lock this in place. Boom. No lock. It was already locked. Right? That prevents anything from moving and shifting off center. Right? And that is how easy it is to add the overlays to your console. Whatever it shows, how it shows up here, is exactly how it's going to show up on your stream. When you stream and you hit that broadcast button on your PS4 controller to Twitch or wherever, Facebook, YouTube. Right, and now I'm going to show you how to add your source, audio source. You can simply come here or add your camera. Boom. Now you'll see my face. Right, so this is me, Retro Gamers here. This is off my laptop. Right, so you come here now and you add to scene here. Right? Wow. Why? 
You see, everything is slow. What is going on here? <laughs> so you see now it's in the um, scene. Wow, it took a while to do that. Now you can use this to... Right? Place this whatever, wherever you want. I'm just showing you guys, right? I don't need to really go into too much detail because I want this to be a very quick easy tutorial. Now, if this was the case, of, I decided to use my laptop HD camera, my laptop camera, I would have not used that uh, webcam design on the overlay. I would have just hide, hit it from the overlay, just click on the eye and it will go from toggle it on and off, I'll toggle it off and then I can add this here. So that is added here. The next thing is the mic, you go right here, boom, yeah. audio source and this is what is connected. If you're using your PlayStation headset like me, you will use the headset I have the Astro A50 generation 4 I would click on this I also have the Fifine mic which you see in here this I can click on this and you just add it so I'll just add this you see one two one two so you see this green bar moving up so now you have audio you have your visual um, overlay cam and boom that's it next step all you have to do is hit save right right and that's it So that's it folks, that's how it is. And um, you see how simple and easy it is. I mean, we sipped a little longer than expected because of my processing power. It's just a generic laptop, but this is all you need to have your overlays, create your overlays, your widgets, your transition scenes, add music to your stream. Um, alerts all you need is the laptop after that this has no part to play this is just for the creation purposes and whenever you are um, i use this to monitor my chat on my live stream if you found this tutorial helpful feel free to like and subscribe to my channel right and add any comments in the section below let me know if you would like to see me do more of the tutorials on this live stream software. Guys, do have a great night. Peace out.